first we will see how the data recovery takes place in RAID level 1. So in RAID level 1, the redundant data is going to be duplicated completely. So let us consider the example of 4 bit data. So here I am considering data 1, let us say D1 is 0, 1, 0, 1. D2 is 1011. One. D3 is 0, 1. D4 is 1001. One. Something like this. And this is the example what I will be considering for all the RAID levels data recovery. Right? And now in data disk 1, now let us say this is a RAID level 1. So here this is redundant data. So what happens like uh, this is original data and this is redundant data. In the case of RAID level 1, we are having the mirroring methodology. So what happens in the case uh, here is this is D1, this is D2, this is D3 and this is D4. So because a, it is mirroring, so everything will be replaced. Everything will be mirrored and specified as a duplicate copy. Now what happens here is like suppose let us say that D2, D2 and D3 are lost. Then easily we can make a copy of them using redundant data. So this is how the data recovery takes place in the case of RAID level 1. It's very simple. Now coming to RAID level 2. This is a bit level stripping and Hamming code is used for maintaining the redundant data. Now let us see the Hamming code process. So if M data bits are there, K check bits will be occurred. So the relation between M and K is 2 power k minus 1 greater than or equal to m plus k. Okay. Now, we are having 4 data bits that is m is equal to 4. So, now what happens 2 power k minus 4, 1 greater than or equal to 4 plus k. If k is equal, let us say for k equal to 2. 2 power 2, 4 minus 1, 3 is greater than 4 plus 2, which is not correct. Let us say for k equal to 3. So 8 minus 1, 7 is greater than or equal to 4 plus 3. So this is satisfying the inequality. So k is equal to 3. That is 3 check bits will be required. Now how the data is maintained. So first... 4 data disk for because we are having 4 bits of information in each data and 3 Hamming code check bits so 3 disk for Hamming code so this C is depending upon the number of data bits in each data and this depends upon the number of check bits that is the value of K so what happens because the value of uh, D1 is 0, 1, 0, 1. Here 0 comes, here 1 comes, here 0 comes and here 1 comes. Now D2 is 1011. 1, 1. So 1 comes here, 0 comes here, 1 comes here and 1 comes here. This is nothing but bit level interleaving we say, bit level stripping we can say. Now D3 is 0 triple one will have like this and d4 is 1001 so 1001 like this we will be having the bit level stripping now we are supposed to calculate the Hamming code values 
Now when you are calculating the Hamming code values, we are supposed to have some check bit formulas. These are the formulas for calculating the check bits and we have to store the calculated check bits in these three disks. So here we are going to see how the check bits are calculated. So these bits, bit po according to the bit positions we are considering 0, 1, 0, 1. So D1 is uh, this one, D2, D3, D4, okay. So D1 is 1. XR D2 is 0, XR D4 is 0, so it is 1, D1 is 1, D3 is 1, D4 is 0, so this is 0, so here D2 is 0, XR D3 is 1, XR D4 is 0, so this is 1. So here uh, we have to store 1, 0 and 1. This is C1, C2, C4, like this we can maintain and similarly calculate the other check bits and also store them. Now we can see that all the check bits are calculated and filled in the corresponding disks. If you want to know which disk is in error, these are all the data disk, which disk is in error, we are supposed to know all the like C1, C2, C4 values. Now if you see the formulas here, <coughs> we can say that disk D1 is in error if both C1 and C2 are in error. And if C1 and C4 check bits are in error, then we can say disk D2 is in error and similarly if C2 and C4 are in error we are getting that wrong data then D3 is in error similarly C1, D4 depends on all C1, C2, C4 actually and that is in order to identify the error or a disk which is damaged we are supposed to know all the check bits data <coughs> but if we want to recover the particular failed disk, one of the check bits is enough. Suppose, now let us consider that data disk D3 is in error. So which can be recovered using C2 formula. C2 is equal to D1 XOR D3 XOR D4. So this formula I am changing like this. D3 is equal to C2 XOR D1 XOR D4. Now just substitute the values of C2, D1 and D4. And we are getting 1010 that is nothing but D3 value. This is how the data recovery takes place in the case of RAID level 2. Now let us see how the data recovery takes place in RAID level 3. According to the RAID level 3, similar to RAID level 2, it is bit level stripping. So the same copy I am showing here D1, D2, D3, D4 and parity is used in order to maintain the redundant disk. So parity is considered to be even parity here. So if you see here 0, 1, 0, 1. Even number of 1s are already there. So we will get 0 here. And 1, 0, 1, 1. 3 1s are there. So 1 comes here. And 0, 1, 1, 1. 3 1s are there. So 1 comes here. 1, 0, 0, 1. 2 1s are there. So 0 comes here. This is how the redundant data is maintained in the case of RAID level 3. Now let us say that some D2 disk is damaged or lost. How we can recover this D2 data disk using D4, D3, D1 and parity disk. So we don't know about this value. So how you are calling the D2 value. So now again like same, uh, same concept even parity should be maintained using D4, D3, D1 and parity. So 0, 1, 1, 0. Even number of 1's is there. So 0, 1, 0, 1 and 1. So 3 odd number of 1's is there. So 1 should come here. 0, 1, 1. Sorry. 0, 1, 1, 1. Odd number of 1's. So again 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. So 0 comes here. So this is how the data D2 will be recovered in the case of RAID level 
3. It is very simple in the case of rate level 3 to recover the data. Now let us see how the data recovery takes place in rate level 4. In the rate level 4, it is actually byte level stripping takes place and parity will be used in order to maintain the redundant data. The difference between the bit level and byte level. Let us see in the case of rate level 3. If this is D1, D2, D3 and D4, we are storing the first bit of each and every data in one particular disk. But if you see in the case of rate level 4, complete data here that is like D1 will be stored in one disk, D2 will be stored in one disk, D3 will be stored in one disk and D4 will be stored in one disk actually. This is nothing but uh, block level stripping actually will be taking in the case of rate level 4. Uh, here we consider a block to be equal to 1 byte and because we are having only 4 bits not equal to byte also we are storing complete uh, one data into one disk here okay so the advantage of reading uh, a data in rate level 4 suppose if i want to read data 2 then this disk alone we can read but if it is if it is the case of rate level 3 if i want to read level uh, read data 2 all the second bits of all the disk need to be read so this is the advantage when compared to the rate level 3 in the case of rate level 4. Now let us go for the data recovery process. So how it is like 0, 1, 0, 1. Even parity. So it comes 0 here. 1, 0, 1, 0. So 0 here. And again like 0, 1, 1, 0. 0 again. 1, 1, 1, 1. So, 0 again. So, this is a redundant parity. Now, let us say that we are uh, losing D1 completely. So, how to recover that D1 now? 1, 0, 1, 0. Even parity. So, 0. 0, 1, 1. Sorry. 0, 1, 0, 0. So, here 1. 1, 1, 0, 0. 0 1 1 1 0 so 1 comes here so you can see that d1 is matching now so this is how the rate level 4 data recovery will be happening now let us consider how the data will be recovered in the case of rate level 5 here it is a block level stripping and we are considering the block is of each 4 bits and the parity will be distributed here distributed parity in the sense the parity calculated from these data will be stored here and the calculated parity from these particular data will be stored here that is this is one disk and this is another disk and this is another disk this is another disk and this is another disk here we are considering like this and now let us say that we are losing one particular disk so let us say that this disk is lost now how we are recovering that particular disk we can easily identify that so 0 0 1 0 we are getting 1 here and then 1 1 0 0 we are getting 0 here and then 0 1 0 0 obviously we will get 1 and when 1 1 1 and 0 we will get 1 again similarly here we can get using the other bits and we can get this value. So this is uh, how the data recovery takes place in the case of rate level 5.